y'all so um it's been a minute since i've done makeup tutorial hair video with like wigs so i'm really trying to get back into the motion of that just because those are the videos that you guys really like and i like them too i just have kind of stopped doing them so i'm really trying to get back into that so this video is a full face using only concealers i have not touched foundation in so long just haven't felt the need to it's been hot it's been muggy it's been humid then it's gotten really really hot in the hundreds dropped down to the 80s it's like all over the place this tutorial is super affordable you won't need to go anywhere special or really you know spend a lot of money to get this look i see other people have their ways of doing a full face um using only concealers everybody's method is different so anyway so let's get started i already washed my face with my african black soap my skin is breaking out primarily due to stress and more stress that's the only thing i can think of i have been taking a um a vitamin a liquid vitamin by blueberry bliss i received it for free when i went to the hair expo and i was about to throw it out and then i seen that the expiration date i still had quite a while before it was time to throw it away so i decided to try it out and i used it faithfully for about a week but it does has does have biotin in it and i feel like i'm sensitive to biotin so uh i haven't been using it in the past few days but I don't know. The last time I really took biotin, it broke me out. Again, I have videos on that like from back in like 2011. Those videos are super old. And uh, my skin hasn't been this bad in quite a while. I, like I don't have any acne on like my chin and whatnot. Not really. Like, And if I do, it's hormonal. But this acne that's just literally smack dab on my forehead... So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I washed my face with my African black soap. I used my Dickinson's Witch Hazel. And then I moisturized with my uh, Neutrogena Grapefruit Moisturizer. This whole hard. I'm like looking at myself. I should be kind of like looking at you. I don't know. Anyway. And I just primed my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. My hands are super dry. But I don't want to add no oil. Add some chapstick. Because has anybody lips this summer been like extremely dry and cracked? Like it just has not been looking good for me. Like I got to make sure I exfoliate weekly just on my lips. Like color correct around the mouth. I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange. take this NYX HD Studio foundation in the color CW07 I like this wine I don't know I just like the wine products <laughs> I guess and even though I am breaking out on my forehead I'm still going to highlight just a little bit I won't go all the way up but just a little bit down the bridge of my nose, right here, right here, chin, okay, and a little bit right there, and a little bit right there. Okay, that's one concealer. Then I'm gonna take my LA Pro concealer in the color fine. I don't go all the way out to my hairline just because my face is already kind of wide. 
and long like i was losing the double chin now it's coming back like <laughs> uh, i'm trying to get my life together and then we're just gonna tap everything up be careful around your eyeball i really use my pinky but I'm kind of in a rush. And these spots that you see on uh, the mirror, the mirror is clean, okay? So I don't hear nothing in the comments about all oh, your mirrors dirty. Now, when I painted and spray painted this um, dresser, like I have a video on how I redid my entire dresser, just because it was all black at once and I added like this like chrome finish to it, it stained. Um, the mirror so i have to get like one of those like i guess metal scraping things and try to uh scrape off the little dots of paint because i can't do anything with it like so yeah it's clean basically is what i'm saying so i don't say nothing next i'm using my black radiance cream contour stick in the color 8003 i have been loving this contour stick like this is literally the only one that i've been using for the last couple months it has like this red undertone to it but i guess for the summer it's kind of just enough because i feel like i've gotten a little bit darker but not as dark as i usually get Okay, I just said that you don't have to um, cream contour your nose, but I like a heavy contour for my nose. So, that's just my personal preference. This whole, like, skeletal thing that I got going on, I just feel like my face is super fat right now. So, I'm really trying to chisel my face out, okay? You don't have to do this. This is just how I do it. Go ahead and, you know... Do what you have to do to get the look that you want. Okay, so as you see, as you seen, I added a little bit of this other concealer by Maybelline, and this is in the color medium. It's really light. Okay, but I'm just gonna add a few dabs because today I just want to be a little bit um, lighter under the eye than usual. Because if it wasn't for today, and just wanted to be a little bit more brighter I would buy Maybelline 330 powder in the shade 
toffee caramel. I'm going to take the Laura Mercier and literally cover my entire eyelid. So I thought I was filming, I don't know, again I have to look at the footage. My face is wet because I mixed um, some Fix Plus spray with a few highlighters and pigments that I have. A little bit more on the rich gold side and I just sprayed down, I just sprayed down my face and since I'm almost out of that. starting to like dwindle down a little bit but I don't know I just and not even out of convenience because it's like literally right here because I keep it out I just honestly love this highlighter like I don't know Don't know what you've got till it's gone. Oh, it always seems to go.